welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Sapphire HD 6790LE. This AMD Radeon graphics card that Sapphire has provided is a terrific card right off the bat. Not only does the box look sexy as usual, but really what we're talking about here is the quality of the card and what it brings to the table. Now, looking at how this card positions itself with a 40 nanometer architecture GPU you can see that it's got like a hybrid in between one of the previous generation the 5830 um, type of specs all the way up to the 6950 so it borrows a little bit of both so that's why it positions itself very nicely at about $150 US you get very very good performance not just the uh, signature fan that you can see there in the center which gives great cooling and I love those fans low power consumption is another great thing about this two six pin connectors at the top all you need is a 500 watt power supply in your set in case you want to overclock this further that's no problem and um, you can have two of these guys in crossfire of course you'll have to have a better power supply for that two DVIs HDMI and your display port out and some vents there for the hot air to come out but really look at those heat pipes there the copper heat pipes we're making really good uh, cooling here from Sapphire look at the contact on the uh, on the base there with the GPU okay so you're gonna get terrific cooling lots of airflow coming in in the box you're gonna get two power connectors in case you have an older power supply the Molex the six pin you've got a VGA DVI drivers manual that's just about it okay that's what you get in the box now today what I'm using is a Sapphire test system that means that I'm using the Sapphire Intel P67 motherboard and I'm also putting in there to the test the Intel Core i5 2400 so this is a really terrific performance PC now in Windows 7 you can see the specs again here like I mentioned a second ago the differences between the 6950 for example would be less ROPS less shaders of course so things have been cut down in order to save uh, on the cost basically but you're really gonna get a lot of performance you're gonna see that I was really really pleased with the results of this card even though it has many different things here cut down such as the ROPs and and the uh, and the shaders but still overall I was very impressed okay very impressed not just the temperatures were lower of course and the fan speed was only at 23 percent which is terrific ultra quiet didn't even hear anything did not have to um, uh, increase any uh, GPU voltages or anything for overclocking and I got terrific results on the overclocking 950 megahertz and 1200 megahertz on the memory and that's just using the catalyst control center uh, overclocking um, tool now when it comes to benchmarks in uh, 3d mark vantage you can see here the GPU score at default clocks okay and that's the um, CPU score by the way using the Sapphire motherboard and the Intel 2400 you can see here how the GPU score compares to other types of uh, video cards right in case you're wondering okay how well does this do when it's at default or when it's overclocked compared to these other cards that I mentioned in the chart earlier 3d mark 11 if you're wondering about that here are the performance benchmarks and the results again using the Sapphire P67 motherboard that I mentioned and the extreme uh, settings as well you can see here the score and when I overclocked it I reran the extreme and of course there are the results it went up as you would expect also in Cinebench 11.5 I ran it at default clocks you can see here how it compared to another AMD card um, that I had in a AMD system a six core system and it actually beat it so I was like wow I, I couldn't believe even when I overclocked the card I got 79.72 uh, there as the frames per second so terrific rendering results uh, hands down this um, beat everything that I've tested so far here and um, in Haven benchmark 2.5 this is the new one that just came out not too long ago got really good results again this card is surprising me despite of certain things being cut down like I mentioned when it comes to the processing uh, compared to the other BART uh, cards that are out there this one here did really well Crisis 2 that's right I've been playing Crisis 2 a lot and I'm telling you this card kicks some real serious ass 
and um, I had no issues at all playing Crisis 2. Terrific results on advanced setting. I didn't try going on to the uh, next level up, but advanced settings were more than enough. Dragon Age 2, again, terrific results on Dragon Age 2. I'm not sure if you guys are fans of that game, but uh, AMD uh, cards seem to love that game a lot, and uh, it runs so smooth. Battlefield Bad Company 2, for those of you that are still playing that uh, game, I love it. And these are the results that I'm getting on that game as well, just in case if you're interested. So really, I have no complaints about this card. Temperatures were low, overclocking was great, performance overall was great, decoding, rendering. Um, it has support for all the latest technologies, DirectX 11, Shader Model 5, OpenGL 3.2. I mean, what, can you, what else can you ask for? For $150, it's priced right. And I gotta give this one an editor's choice award. Okay, so I couldn't find anything wrong with it. So I'd like to thank Sapphire for providing it, and I hope you enjoy this video, and thank you for watching.